Today I'm going to show you how to use a new feature in Canva that will allow you to record your computer screen and everything is going to be completely free. So if you guys are interested in this tutorial, let's go to my computer. Hello everyone, my name is Diana Muñoz and welcome to our channel, the best place to learn everything about Canva. And before I start with the tutorial, I just want to mention that this new feature is at the moment just available from the website version of Canva and specifically Google Chrome. So if you try to open your application on your mobile device or the application from the desktop version, it might not appear yet, but I suppose that with time they will release it to all the different versions of Canva. Okay, so let's start. This feature you can use it with any doc type but I will use a video doc type to start with and later on in the tutorial I'm going to use a different doc type with a different ratio because I also want to show you how you can adjust the size of your screen recording so it can adapt to any doc type. So let's do the first option. Let's select a video doc type and then let's go to uploads. On this window, you will see two different buttons, upload media and record yourself. This is the button that we want to click, record yourself. And now Canva is taking us to the recording studio. You want to pay attention to these three icons. First, we have the microphone. In case that you have different microphones connected to your computer, here you can select the one that you prefer, or you can also select no microphone. You can also select or set the camera in case that you want to record your head or your talking head. And lastly, we have the option to record either camera only, which is the one that is selected right now because it is in purple. You see here the camera only. And we have the new feature, which is the screen share that is available for Canva free users and Canva pro users. So this is what we are here for. <laughs> selected and now we have this chrome window popping up we have three different options to record our computer screen the first one we can select entire screen everything that is happening on our computer at this moment i see two screens because i have my laptop and one external screen connected to my laptop then we go to window you can select any of the windows that are open on your computer or you can select one of your chrome tabs so for this example i will go for entire screen and i'll select my screen number two so go to share and now that we have selected the screen share we can actually deactivate the camera so you see under the camera icon instead of having one of the cameras selected i can select no camera and this bubble that we see below will disappear so let me show you at this moment we are just recording our computer screen and now that we have everything set we can click on record and Canva will start recording your computer screen. Okay, let's go to record. We have this countdown, three, two, one, and I will go to our channel to do a quick screen recording, just uh, showing you guys the videos that we have available on our channel. I think that's enough just to show you the example. Here we can either pause if you want to open another tab or do something else and then resume your screen recording you can do it or if you are done with your screen recording just click on done now click on save and exit this is taking us back to the canva editor and our screen recording is being currently uploaded to our canva account i'm just gonna wait a couple of seconds until this is fully uploaded before starting to work with this video my video is fully uploaded now and it works as a regular video on Canva. When I click on it, I can play and preview the recording. It has audio, I don't know if you can tell, but yeah, it has audio. I can reduce the volume or even delete the audio from the video with this icon. Also, another thing that you can do is to crop the video. 
As you can see at the beginning we see still a little bit of the countdown and what I really want is this section right here so I can crop or trim the beginning of the video and the end and I have the video that I want I can also crop the upper section of the video and also another cool thing that you can do with these videos is to go to elements select one of the frames see all let's see what do we have here we can select the computer frame and then insert the video inside the frame and then you have your screen recording in your design now I want to show you how you you can adjust the size of your screen recording in case that you want to insert your screen recording to a phone that has a different ratio you see that this video has a landscape mode but the phone has a portrait mode so how do we do this but before i would like to mention today's selected or highlighted comment of the week this one is from agnieszka bourbon i hope i'm pronouncing your name correctly this comment says excellent video on reels i love the precision and clarity with which you explain and that you are speaking at a nice speed allowing to grasp everything thank you very much for this lovely comment agnieszka this is the video I'm going to leave it up here the video in which I teach you how to create reels in Canva so if you guys want to have the chance to have your comment featured in our next video make sure to leave your comments down below and let's continue with the second part of this tutorial I'm coming back to the Canva homepage because I'm going to select a different doc type, in this case an Instagram story, and I will show you how to adjust the size of our screen recording so it fits this ratio. So go back again to Uploads, Record Yourself, and here on this Recording Studio, select Screen Share. Now, because I want to be able to adjust the size of the screen recording, I'll go for Windows window and then I'll select my Chrome window which is the one that I want to record so share this time I'll go again with no camera I'm just making sure that I have the microphone selected this is correct and now before pressing record just adjust the size of your Chrome window so in this case I'm moving my Chrome window I'm reducing the size and now you can see on the recording studio that my screen recording is getting a different shape so before it looked like this which is a landscape mode but when I'm changing the size of my Chrome window it is changing the size of the screen recording and I'm trying to have something similar to the ratio that I have on my Canva document. So now I have a portrait mode screen recording. So I will record a couple of seconds to show you how this is going to end up looking on our design. So let's go to record. Going to our YouTube channel once again. Okay, coming back here. And now I'll just scroll down a little bit a couple of seconds so we have a nice screen recording coming back to canva and then click on done save and exit and we are back to our canva editor the video is being uploaded at the moment my video has been fully uploaded to canva and as you can see the video has this portrait mode which is going to look much nicer on an instagram story rather than this landscape mode so you will be able to see the information much better let me show you quickly how this landscape mode it looks very small and we are not able to preview the information as clear as it will be in this example we can see and preview the videos in a much better way so i think this trick can be very very useful let me know if you are going to be using this screen recording in canva have you used it already let me know and let's chat in the comments and if you guys want to keep learning about canva and access our 10 canva courses for free i'm going to leave you here the landing page so you can have more information on how to access and if you want to keep learning here on youtube with our videos i'm going to recommend two other tutorials over here i think this is it for today i wish you a nice day and see you in the next tutorial bye